So this is uh, some questions about logic. Uh, so logic gates and uh, thinking about logic as well. So quite often we get uh, this sort of question where it's just going to give us a truth table and ask us what the logic gate is. So I'm hoping that these should be fairly straightforward single marks. So in this case, we've got the only time we've got a one is when both inputs are one. And so that gate is and. So we draw and something like this. And it has to be both ones in order to have a one as an output. So, you know, other gates you might get or and that will give you a one if either or both of the gates are one. So the truth table for that is going to be almost opposite to this. So the only one in that case that will be um, a zero is when both inputs are zero. So all of the other ones will be ones for or. Um, it's unlikely that they're asking you to fill in a truth table for not because there's not much to it really. But not is an inverter. So if it's one there, it's not there. It's not there, it's one there. And we can combine those gates um, to make something like an XOR as well if we want to. So XOR, exactly the same as OR, apart from it only outputs one when the inputs are one zero or zero one. So in other words, if it's one one, it outputs naught. So that's XOR and the difference between it, exclusive OR. So they're all the gates that you might uh, come across uh, pretty much in, in the exam. This one was a very simple question. We got one mark just for saying and. So moving across uh, to this question, which again, they wanted to identify logic gates, but in this case, it's a little bit more tricky to, to think about this one. Um, they've got a partially complete logic circuit um, and there are two keyboard input devices, A and B. So that's our A and B here. And either one can be connected to the computer system. However, if they're both connected, then the computer system won't work. So P, which is the output, has the value one if either keyboard A or B are connected, but not both. So this is um, a convoluted way of looking at an XOR gate in some ways. So it just shows you that XOR is uh, is an abstraction. So these gates, L2 and L3, these are going to be our AND gates because A is coming in here and not B in here. And A, so B is coming in here and this gate here is also going to be not So that gate's going to be a not gate as well. It balances up this one. So L1 is not. L2 and L3 are both going to be and. And L4, uh, well, this is the idea of um, if either are connected. Um, so that's going to be an OR gate just there. So. And that would look like this as an OR gate or AND gates. It's not a very good AND gate. It's incidentally, in the exam, if you're trying to draw the shapes, just make sure you've got the idea of the flat back for the AND and this convex one for OR because the examiner is then going to be able to tell what it is. So if you're not sure and you've drawn something that's a little bit... Uh, not as good as it could be. Let's write and in there. And then that will help the examiner to see that uh, you know what you're doing. Now, of course, if you do 
this and you write and in there that's not going to be right so that's going to be not right because the shape is obviously an or gate and it's, it just shows that you, you're not sure what what gate that is but there's nothing wrong with writing the correct name in if you're if you're not quite sure whether your uh, shape was as good as it could have been so uh, here's another another logic question this time uh, we're given a truth table and we're given some information so we've got the idea that this burglar alarm sounds when it's uh, armed or turned on and the window or door is open so window or door it's a bit of a giveaway there for us and armed and that so here is our truth table that they've given to us they've been really nice to us they've given us all the shapes and everything to write here um so armed is is a so here's our input a so that's only going to happen um when it's combined in an and with something else so here's our and gate um and that's only going to happen when it's combined with b or c which are the windows so either of those will be fine so we need an or gate for that not the best or gate ever but it, it, it will do and then my or gate goes into my and gate and then that's going to join up to q so don't forget in the exam to actually join up this to q because if you don't join it up and you just leave your gates like that um, you might lose a point for that if you're not careful um, just because you haven't quite connected that in there is not going to matter that's that's going to be fine um, so so this is a fairly classical one really because uh, we've got the switch here a which if it's on it's going to be a one and that means that this system's turned on b and c here are the windows and the doors so if they're both zeros because they, they're closed and nobody's trying to break in then this will be a zero here and so this will be a zero here but then of course if either of the if either of those uh, windows is open window or door so if that becomes a one because it's opened up because this is an or that will become a one and then we have two ones and the alarm will be going off with a one there so that's um that's a fairly typical one that they might ask you to draw in the exam so here's another one uh, in a similar kind of way with some slightly different questions that we've got so we've this time we've got an expression um, so they're, they're telling us it's B and not A. So nowadays in the exam, they, they could write that as this expression B dot A with a bar over for not. And then it's or B and C. So this could be written in the exam now as b dot not a plus for or b and c so this is saying b as an input uh, and not a so gate one is going to be not because that's knotting the A as it comes in there. So logic gate for number two. So we've we've already decided that this part of the expression B and not A means that gate two will be and. And then draw the logic circuit symbol in the space below for the logic gate used at gate three. So gate three. Um, we've got b and c here on this part of the expression b and c so 
we're drawing our best hands that we can and we're just making sure it's there best hands drawn let's not have any confusion shall we we'll just there we go so best hand we've got a flat back to it that's the main thing draw the logic symbol in the space below for the logic gate used at gate four well gate four is this thing in the middle here or and as long as we've got our concave back we've drawn that properly and we've got four marks it looked a little intimidating from the start of this but if we think about the actual equation and how that's going to work we can work through it um, reasonably in order and we'll be we'll be okay with that sort of thing so gate one we noticed was an, a knot because we've got this knot a happening here and then gate two we know that b is anded with that so that has to be an and there then we've got the idea that b and c so gate three has to be an and and finally we've got the or in the middle which is the last gate that we're going to to use so you normally do ands first and ors after